Today at five, two female police officers and a civilian are shot dead by a gunman in the Belgian city of Liège. The gunman took another woman hostage before being shot dead by police. It is being treated as a terrorist incident. I was walking along the street and I heard gunshots. I saw people walking, others running and shouting, leave, run, leave. I did not understand what was happening. We'll have the latest from Belgium. It's been reported the gunman was released from prison yesterday. He may have been radicalised while inside and was said to be on a police watch list. The other main stories on BBC News at 5. Hospital staff who treated the former Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia say they had not expected them to survive. We would try all our therapies. We would ensure the best clinical care. But all the evidence was there that they, that they would not survive. All 8,000 Starbucks stores across America will close later today as staff are trained against unconscious bias. And the roof space in Westminster Abbey, unseen by the public for 700 years, is to open as a new gallery. It's five o'clock. Our main story is that a man has shot dead two female police officers and a civilian in the eastern Belgian city of Liège. The gunman also took a female cleaner hostage at a school before he was uh, then killed by police. Two other police officers were also injured. The incident is being treated as terrorism. It's reported that the gunman was freed from prison on temporary release yesterday. He'd been serving time on drugs offences. He may have been radicalised while in jail and was meant to be on a police watch list. Our Europe correspondent, Damien Grammaticus, has the latest. 